morning everyone. We're at Big Bend on the Murray River at sunset, sunrise. <laughs> There's the rig and the caravan. And we're just going to put the drone up and show you these cliff faces. Now, hi Gibbo. <laughs> I wasn't sure if um, we needed a sunrise or a sunset to get the colours on the cliff face, but we need a sunset. What? When it's the sunset, place. you got me out of bed and said sunrise. <laughs> I couldn't work it out. <sighs> that's beautiful. Yeah, I know it's I am, nice but that's not the to, point. It's nice to get up early. We left last night, the Big Bend camping grounds, just, just as a pullover, because we didn't leave till about eight o'clock at night. So we just pulled in, left the car attached, had a bit of a snooze. Um, and we've got up this morning, got the sunset, and uh, put the drone up to, to check out the uh, cliff faces, which were beautiful. But we've got to go back there at sunset not sunrise um, because the sun was on the opposite side at sunset it, it lights it all up nice and reddish and orangey and supposed to be beautiful so we've just passed through Swan Reach and yeah there wasn't much at Swan Reach there really the caravan parks not on the uh, not on the river that looked like they had a nice golf course there though um, so we're just going through there and we're heading into Blanchetown now um, and we'll check out Blanchetown and we'll let you know what we think of it. Obviously we're coming into Blanchetown now. Just an RV friendly town. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's right, we've got a lock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1956 flood level. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now that's all the way down there, and here's the flood level here. Wow. Well, that was high. Lock number one. Through here. Yeah, this yeah. is where they go through. Yeah. On the side here, they open the side up. Yeah. I still don't know what time it is. <laughs> Information Bay. Construction begins. <laughs> Original cost and then the replacement. Oh, here's the floods on this side. Well, the house. <gasps> oh no.
Uh, we're at the Wakery Caravan Park, so we're going to take you for a walk through. Uh, the owners, operators are really nice and friendly. They're a good couple. Um, so here we are. That's our site. Um, we've got the camp kitchen, which we'll show you later, um, and the uh, toilets there. And if you spin around, which we'll take you over to, you can't really see anything from here, um, but there's an entrance up here um, to the river. So we're going to check that out now. So most of the sites are this gravel and then you've got your matting, your outdoor area. There's a few lawn sites, but we'll take over there a bit later. We'll just have a look at the river first. And we've got some cabins just down here that have got a riverfront view. Um, but that's all. I don't think there's any actual caravan sites that you can have right up on the river. Lots of houseboats. Have house a boats. look at them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is the spot. Um, yeah, if you want to pick up a houseboat and go for a cruise up the Murray River, this is one of the main spots to come. Yeah. I thought it was just a workshop from the outside, but this is good. Yeah. I'm right next to it. It's cool. Nice, nice and tidy. Got everything you need. So here I go again, showing you the toilets. How nice is that, that they provide bath mats? Different barbies, aren't they? They are, aren't they? Just electric, yeah. Looks like they're just electric. Okay. Oh, yeah, nothing more. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you need the key for it. It's only a small pool, but. It is tiny, isn't it? Yeah, but that'd be alright. Got a lot of cabins, don't I? They do. It's nicely maintained, though, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's beautifully maintained. Oh, well, it seemed like big, you know, decent sites too, which is good. Mm. We're going to have to go and check the animals out, aren't we? There's the dump point. point. All right, yeah. cool. That's good to know. Yes, yeah, so they've got a little anim animal sanctuary. <laughs> You've come through the fence. Exit and break it up. Are we boring you? Let's get on to the next adventure. Yep, let's go. Let's go! Yeah, the old mate Jeff at the back at the caravan park. He was telling us about a little over half hour away. What was it? What's it called? Yeah, Overland Hotel. That's it. Yeah, it's really nice apparently. Grinder. 
Yeah, and then it cuts it. As it's going through, then that'll cut it. Cut it? Cut it off. Oh, look. <laughs> you were talking about the flood level? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Flood level for 1956. We've been here. Oh, is this? This is it. Oh, no way. This is oh, it. Oh, it looks great. Can you see the ghost? The ghost face. Critters, aren't you? Yeah. You see the little lambs, they're so friendly. Cuties. See that dirt track over there? Just about there. Oh, gee, probably seven years ago, we walked that track. So the river's where that tree line is, and we had a houseboat and walked up this track to come to this pub. I didn't even realise it was the same spot. Things you see out bush. Good eye, mate. What time did you say that shot? Four o'clock, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they have accommodation that here too. Mm. We'll have coffee while we're here, I think. Hopefully, they have coffee. See this, Darren? You can do a virtual reality. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is very good. Yeah, there's some got in on the boat. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? <laughs> See the guys in the boat down there waving to us? Mm. <laughs> oh, you're there? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> 
We did think there were cliff faces here, but I don't know that I'd really call them cliff faces. There's not. There's not. <laughs> it's not really. Um, and you do see the river, which is nice. And it winds in and out, which is quite pretty. Other than that, the landscape's pretty barren. But they've only been up and running for a little over 12 months, and they've got some apparently some prime accommodation here i can't show you in any of the accommodation because uh, they're fully booked out but you can imagine the view look at that the view that you'd have sitting in there it would be amazing i reckon mm -hmm. i don't know if you can appreciate it in the camera but it looks pretty cool i feel like you're in a star wars spaceship <laughs> <laughs> that's why your cough that's why your coughing <laughs> spilled everywhere. I nearly like went ass up foam. on it. I know, I couldn't believe it. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I went to stand up on this holding the coffee is in the cameras just to get some video footage for you guys. There's concrete blocks and the concrete blocks of foam. <laughs> Enjoying this walk back, babe? No, <laughs> not after my abseiling yesterday, retrieving the drone on not. <laughs> bring the car down. <laughs> it's almost on safari. <laughs> it's huge.
things you do to get your drone back. Hope you guys appreciate this. Holy shit. A few little scratches. A few little scratches and a broken wing. That's not too bad. All right, so. let's get over the other side of the fence. Oh shit. Someone's excited. <laughs> a winery. Yeah. Check it out. Let's come and have a look. Looks very nice. It's got a nice lawn area. And they're right on the river. Just like we've got some uh, houseboats over here. Oh yeah, these too. Imagine pulling up coming into this. How beautiful. What spot to pull in. Check out their fire pit. That was cool. That's wicked. Be nice if that was the gun. Yeah. Take a great photo. They close at five, I'm pretty sure, so they won't be staking it up tonight. No. So maybe they have special functions or something. A little beach out there on the corner, on the bend. That looks so cool. What a beautiful spot. Nineteen fifty six flood right up the top there. I didn't even see that. Oh wow. Holy cow. Oh, we're still gone, we're still gone. I don't even know if you can see that on the camera. You so can have got your wine. separate booths? Sorry, you can have your wine. You can have your wine, I'm gonna have a beer. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh, the coffee, I'm not sure. Yeah, the booth is great, aren't they? Yeah. This guy's camp spot. Oh my god. Wow. one of the most picturesque wineries I've been to. Just nestled on the riverbank, it's, it's really pretty. The property was established in the late 1800s. It actually became a successful rose farm. So to celebrate that, to celebrate the history, the owners name their wines after the different variety of roses. lovely pizza was nice coffee was nice yeah don't have time for a beer because we're going to try and show you guys the cliff faces <laughs> at sunset after putting our drone back together and changing <laughs> the blades and oh what a mess <laughs> climbing down cliffs to retrieve it <laughs> now we just have to do a test run and make sure everything's working well after the disastrous drone accident we're back here we fixed the drone, we're back here, and uh, for the sun, it's beautiful sunset, and well... Too many clouds. What bloody sunset. <laughs> so anyway, we, we put the drone up, it's, it's worse now, but we put the drone up as there was just that still a, a slither of light coming through, 
Um, so I think we've got a little bit of decent footage anyway. But if the we colour did... was quite surprising on your phone. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully it turns out all right. Mm. What a great spot though. Great yeah. So yeah, this is this is the spot here. How you going guys? Here with Jeff from the Wakery Holiday Park. You've heard me talk about him already. He's the one that suggested uh, a couple of fantastic places to see. Just want to thank Jeff Heaps for, for those suggestions, no worries, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. Tell us a little bit about the park. Oh, well, the beauty of the Wakery Holiday Park is for many, many years, people have been coming up and down the Sturt Highway and not actually calling into Wakery. So if you get a chance, there's a caravan park down here. We're a stone's throw from the river. Come down, stay in the caravan park. And Wanker is a beautiful central spot. We're going to see wineries. Uh, we're just talking about the Overland Corner Hotel. Uh, yes, yeah, brilliant. Good bakeries in brilliant. town. Uh, you can comfortably come up here and spend five to seven days and have something to do every day. Mm. And we're nice and close to town. So. And the cruise is supposed to be the river cruise is supposed to be nice too, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, especially if you get so they tell me the uh, evening one where you get the sunset down oh. on the cliffs. Uh, and they only they only go slow. They only go real slow. Um, you get a platter, I think you, you pay uh, 30 or 40 dollars something for a platter and get a cheese platter and uh, they'll sell you wine so you can, you know, it's a luxurious way to see the river. Um, Brilliant. But they do all the driving and steering, all you got to do is sit there and enjoy the ambiance. <laughs> you coldies. Oh yes, yes, and you're allowed to take your own on oh, yeah. if you want to, if you oh, want to take nice. your own beer or your own wine, you're, they're more than welcome to do that. So, yeah. Well we've got to come back and spend a bit more time here because we didn't get to do that. You've scratched the surface. <laughs> That's it. There's more to come. Did. We were surprised how much there is to do here. No, Shocked me. Most, pe most people are the same. Most people say the same thing. We didn't realise there was so much to do. And a lot of the places up here aren't aggressive in their advertising. Uh, whereas Anna and I, we're more than happy to, to gloat about the things that are up. We've been oh. there, we've done it, we've seen it. Yep. And we're happy to gloat about it. And people always come back and say, you were right, that was really good. They don't come back and say, oh, uh, that, that wasn't so flash. They all come back and say, you were right, that is that good. So. Yeah, we would have had no idea. Yeah. We didn't know, thanks to you guys, it, uh, it worked out brilliant. You're more than welcome. We try and do it for everybody if we can. Fantastic. <laughs>
Howdy. Free camping on this side. And you can catch the ferry across to head back to Wakeree. Doesn't, doesn't look like a bad free camp, does it? Really? Yeah. Wonder how long you can stay there for and uh, a bit of lawn and stuff. Yeah, interesting. Makes you wonder if that shelter is like a bit of a camp kitchen and mm. stuff. Mm, probably is. G'day buddy, how are ya? Oh, <laughs> Living the dream. How good is this for the kids? Yeah. It looks like it's for adults as well. Free admission. Very pretty. Oh look at that. Oh shucks and did you get any change on you? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, I'll, I'll go back no to the car. You'll go back. Oh, yeah. Nice sign, Rod Tickle. Getting a bit old now, but nice job, brother. <laughs> this little canteen, houseboat yeah. canteen. Oh, 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 that's good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know how kids do this. I can only just reach to get up onto this ledge. Oh, so was that any good? It was a little bit too far. <laughs> oh, do it again. I'm going to watch you coming out of there. Go on, do it, do it, do it. Of course. See that? You weren't doing that on the way out. Yo, oh, you can do it. You can do it. What's the point? Get up on the switch. Yeah, I know, it's funny. <laughs> How else are you supposed to get big and strong if you don't put an effort in? See, most people have got legs, darling, and they can reach. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Oh, she won't have the same expression this time, but the expression on her face when she come out. <laughs> I know, that's what I was saying, which is a shame, because that was so funny, that was hilarious. Do it! You can do it! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to expect it again. <laughs> I'll probably miss it when I try and jump on it. <laughs> oh, nice big done. <laughs> All right, go. See, there's one there. Well, on. what's the finish point? Challenge accepted. Yeah, but what's the finish point? Get out. Get out at a different entrance than <laughs> what you went in. <laughs> Wasn't there a trick like if you touch the left wall with your hand? Keep doing that, you'll eventually get out. I'm going to see if that's a theory. Oh, no, it's not a theory. Damn it! <laughs> it's actually harder than what you think. Well, that's probably the first time you've ever beat me in anything. Come on now. We don't have all night. Uh -huh. Alright, six hours later. Come on. Yeah, boy. Oh, finally. Did I win? <laughs> what do you reckon, Anya? 
no more exercise for two days, <laughs> at least. Fun was had by all. <laughs> this is a fantastic place to bring the kids. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. All right, good on you. Local or just passing through? Uh, You're local. Yeah. Do you, have you been to the caves just here? Oh, yes. Yeah, is it worth looking at? Definitely. Okay, and you get we get to it from where the golf course is, and there's a little gate. Golf course is on this side of the yeah. road. You go this side, the other side of the road. There's a little like um, like a water. Yeah, well, we tried. We asked all the locals where the Penny LaRue uh, caves were, and um, we've been all up along here. I'll just show you. The river goes all the way along there. There's a broken old down caravan up there, but we've sort of come all the way along here. There's no signage. We've taken this old dirt road road in here to to get to it but we've had a guts full we're chucking a yui and we're going home <laughs>